My first thoughts were like, oh my gosh. And I'd seen the one video of her drinking water in the back of the truck. You can kind of see the severity. I, it was just like shocking. But the first time I met her, and I could not believe that her temperament was so welcoming for a dog that had been through what she had been through. Like, opening that door right away, her face was right in the door. She was not shy at all, tail wagging, sat down on the floor with her, and she was immediately in my lap or rolled over on her back with me petting her belly. So I credit that a lot to the people at Jindo Love who rehabbed and helped her out, and also Dahlia, her foster mom. Nico dramatically changed my life because I deal with a lot of anxiety and depression, and so I've always been looking into emotional support animals. I've never really realized just how much having a companion animal like a dog can go ahead and change your life because she gives me a reason to get out of bed every day. Every single morning, she relies on me to take care of her, and that motivates me in a way that I never really expected. And coming home and seeing just how excited she is to see me really increases how much I feel valued in my own life through her. Nico's genuinely my best friend. She's friends with everybody she meets. After all that she has been through, how is she this awesome? It's only been not even half a year. I would say that Nico will be cherished and loved and celebrated the rest of her life.